Hey, hi, in this video, I will show you how we can configure and how we can use the AWS service catalog okay, from the portal. Okay, yeah. So here, as part of this demo, uh, what I would show you is, I would show you, show you that how you can create a um, cloud formation template based uh, um, uh, AWS service catalog product and also how you can link that product to a particular portfolio that is um, AWS service catalog portfolio. Okay, and also how you can share that portfolio to the IAM users present in your um, account. Okay, so that so that the that IAM user can use that product and, and spin up a service in AWS. Okay, so with that note, let's get started to this demo. As you see in my screen, I am currently in my AWS account. Okay, and I'm going to create first the portfolio. Okay, you can create either product first or portfolio first. Uh, no issues in that, but I prefer to create a portfolio first. Okay, so let me create a one portfolio name with the name called um, CQPOCs. Yeah, nothing but um, uh, my video related uh, um, um, portfolio name yeah and this will be a VPC okay so in this demo I will show you the um, a product which will spin up a v VPC in AWS account okay yeah where the VPC definition will be written in the uh, cloud formation template okay so with that so I'm just giving the uh, one meaningful name here similarly let me give the um, let me give the the description to as, as um, uh, creating um, uh, creating VPC yeah uh, similarly the owner would be uh, my email ID okay because I'm the owner of um, so so let me give my name yeah so uh, so similarly here as I'm giving my email ID you should be giving your email ID as well yeah so um, okay so next let's create this um, by giving the email id let's create it here, here you go we have successfully created the um, 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 uh, service catalog portfolio yeah so this can be done via terraform but because as um, so as of now i have not um, investigated in around the how we can provision the these uh, uh, portfolios and products of, of AWS catalog using the Terraform, but I would be investigating and if possible, I would be creating a video on that one. Okay, so since uh, as a part of this demo, I would be completely focusing through or through the um, AWS console. Okay, yeah. So with that, now let's go to the, the, the next step that is creating the product. Okay, so here let me create a product. Okay. So here, uh, what I would do is um, um, I would be creating a new product here. Okay. So while while I am creating a new product, so let me give the meaningful name. So I will give a create um, a name of the product create VPC. Yeah. Similarly, uh, VPC creating. Yeah. So let me give the description of this one. Um, so uh, owner would be the same one. Yeah. You can give the uh, same owner name. Yeah. Like your uh, your your account email ID. Yeah. Okay, so first one you, we have given the name, we have given the um, description, owner, and the distribution is optional, so I would just choose to uh, be blank. Okay, and here if you see here, so the the method of um, product would be multiple uh, ways. Okay, you either can you can use the local template, or you can use the um, URL of the cloud formation template, or you can use the stack. Okay, or you can use the cloud formation stack itself. Yeah. So I would choose to you, since I have a, a cloud formation template which is stored in the locally in my laptop, so I would use that yeah um, so um, so let me go to that um, uh, cloud formation template okay so here um, um, so here is the my uh, so let me before I, I go to the um, before I upload that template so let me uh, show you the how the template is it's a, just a, a simple cloud formation template okay so um, uh, here um, here what it does is um, so it's it's simple okay it's as you see here so it's uh, uh, the the format version is this one the parameter I'm just giving the C adder I'm taking VPC C adder as a parameter here but default I'm just uh, giving the default value to something like forward slash 16 C adder ranges okay and also in the in the resource blocks we are just creating um, VPC as you see here the type is VPC okay so that's the reason it will create a VPC for us and in the properties we are giving the CADR block which is again referring uh, referencing to the same parameter yeah and in the tag in the tag we are giving the name equal to uh, the value yeah so that's it so that is the uh, cloud formation template so let me um, upload that cloud formation template to this uh, product okay yeah so this is my uh, cloud formation template which I have just now uploaded here okay it's been validated okay you need to make sure that that is a valid okay so version let me make it as a version 1 1.0 yeah 
Similarly, description is optional and other other data is also optional. So let me um, create a review. And uh, finally, since it looks everything fine, so I will spin off a product as well. So what I did is I just created a product. Okay. So uh, if you say, let me refresh it so that I should see that. Okay. So here you go. The product is ready. Uh, portfolio is ready. Okay. So portfolio is something like a container through in which you can add multiple products. Okay. And, 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 and portfolio can be shared to the, um, uh, to the IM users or IM groups or, or, or to a service. Okay. Or to a SPN. Yeah. In general so what I do is I go to the portfolio and I will add a product here okay so I will select that product so this is the product which I have selected yeah and I will click on add to the portfolio okay so here you go the product is has been uh, successfully added to the portfolio which we have created okay now I have an user okay? so I'm a root user so but I have the another user so let me give access to that user so that he can use this product uh, to spin up the product to spin up the the, the required uh, uh, aws service okay so let me do that i will go to the user so i have uh, one more user called test user so let me add that user as access here okay so access uh, i mean access is mandatory then only the user okay the the user can see their uh, see this product into their access okay yeah so here you, um, uh, so so as you see here i have successfully added a test user um uh, access to i have given a test user access to this portfolio okay and under this portfolio we have only one product okay so now what i do is i will log out from my session and i will log into the um, that session okay i will log into the um, test user session and and i will show you that the product will be visible now okay so i'm just right now logging out of my session okay so let me sign in with the im user that is the test user yeah and from there i will show you that the uh, the product has been shared there and also um, um and also um um he can spin up the product he can use the product to spin up the service okay that's what uh, the the next step in, in this demo yeah so i'm just giving the account id that is my account id yeah and um so i will be providing the further data that is um, required for uh, signing in yeah so user is test user okay and i will be entering my password which i have given to that user okay and yeah let me click on sign in okay similarly it is it is that the, the same procedure has to be followed uh, if you are trying to do the same step okay from your end as well so here you go we are into the test user session now yeah so let me go to the service catalog and i will show you that the product should be visible to this user okay so let me go to the product okay and the product is visible now product has been shared to this user so that he can use this product and spin up the um, um uh, this respective services okay yeah so um as i explained that in this product we are adding we have added the vpc creation template okay so whenever we spin up this product or whenever we provision this product we will be we will be end up with creating a vpc service okay so before i uh, provision this product let me show you that there is there are no vpc in this console okay in this access okay and once we once we provision the uh, that product then the vpc will be created okay so that marks the the, um, the aim of this demo okay so here you go there are no vpcs in my in his account and in my account okay so now what i do is i will go to the um, uh, service catalog and i will provision that product so that the vpc gets created okay um yeah so let me go to the product and i will go to the uh, the product okay so i will launch a product out of this one yeah um so provision product so provision product you can give it as a test user created um uh, test user created hyphen vpc1 yeah so this is my provision product name yeah so now here i have used in the version so version i have used as a version one yeah the parameter so the by default the parameter has been coming here you can change the parameter or you can use the um, um the default value okay let me change it okay so let me let me keep let me um, keep it default okay which uh, which is good in in terms of um, understand making you understand okay yeah so let me launch this product okay so launching this product is nothing but you are actually spinning up the vpc in direct way okay so what it does in, under the hood what actually it does is you are provisioning the um, uh, this service catalog product is nothing but in, indirectly you are invoking the the cloud formation template which has been um, which has been uh, defined in this product okay with that parameter okay so at the end you will be end up with creating a vpc okay directly so this is the indirect way of i mean doing the vpc uh, or provisioning the aws service okay 
so why we have to use um, a while while it is getting provisioned okay so i will show you that what once it the provision gets succeeded okay i, I believe that yeah here you go that it has successfully provisioned the product as well nothing but it has successfully provisioned the um, uh, the vpc service okay so before i show you that service so let me give uh, a brief about why you need to use the service catalog okay service catalog is a something like a, a service being been given from the aws side which will help you to manage your aws platform okay which will help you to manage govern and also make the uh, your your compliance okay and also assign a particular uh, uh, you, you are i mean through this service catalog you are restricting or you are you are having a boundary in a such a way that um, a particular role has to do the particular task only okay so that kind of requirement can be achieved by service catalog okay so that's what the capability this service catalog service provides in aws okay yeah so with that note let's go to uh, let's go and see if the vpc service has been created here you go so the vpc uh, this the product has been spent up now so or provisioned now okay once we uh, once we created once we once we have provisioned the uh, uh, product so then we we should be see one um, one entry in the provision product so this is the uh, name which i have given to my uh, provision product okay and it has the status is available nothing but it has provisioned successfully okay so let's go to the vpc and see if the vpc got created okay so i am currently going to the vpc console okay and let's and see if the vpc has been created here you go the vpc has been successfully created okay so let's go to the vpc and see if the properties are are relevant okay so here you go so the name which we have given looks uh, same yeah and the and let me come down a bit yeah so here you go the cid range is same and their name is the same name which i have given in the temp cloud formation template yeah and everything looks perfect okay so this is how this is how you need to use the uh, service catalog to spin up your um, your required services okay yeah so the, as a part of this demo i have just shown you the only creating vpc whereas you can you can create any kind of services or you can um, or you can make um, any kind of pipeline with this um, um, uh, service catalog tool okay yeah uh, with that note, we have completed this demo. Uh, thanks for watching our videos. Um, a kind request, please do subscribe my channel. That would really encourage me a lot. Okay. With that note, thank you. Thanks a lot.